1.2, Simplify Algebraic Expressions. We are going to be looking at the parts of an algebraic expression. In your notes, you should copy down this expression right here. We have 6a minus b plus 2a minus 7. There are some definition words that you should have, so copy down this expression. We can see that 6a and 2a, they are like terms. I can add 6a and 2a together because they have exactly the same variable. Remember that variables have exponents, and when you don't see the exponents, it's understood to have a 1. So when you're combining like terms, the variable has to be the same and the exponent. I have one, two, three, four terms. Terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So there are one, two, three, four terms. We have one term that doesn't have a variable with it. It's just a number. And so the constant is actually negative seven. Remember to keep your signs in front of them. The constant would be negative seven. It doesn't change. It doesn't vary like a variable. If a was two, this would be six times two is 12. If a was three, it would be six times three is 18. So variables will vary depending on what they are. Constants never change. It's the same. This is going to be negative seven. It'll never change. It's a constant. There are some other definitions that we have. And so if you copy down that expression again, we can talk about some other things about this expression. We like to talk about the coefficient. The coefficient is the number that's in front of the variable. And so here's my variable a, six is the coefficient. Here is negative b. Remember that, just like exponents, if it's not there, we can write the one down for the exponent, that it would be true for the coefficient as well. There is a negative one that is understood to be there. So the coefficient of b would be negative one. The coefficient of 2a would be 2. Negative 7 does not have a coefficient because it doesn't have a variable. This is the constant. All right. Now you're going to answer some questions. Example 1, just say example 1 and then write this expression down. Pause the video and write down A through F. Terms, like terms, coefficients, constants. What is the exponent of the fifth term? What is the exponent of the first term? Pause the video and then come back and we'll do this together. Terms. How many terms do we see here? Remember that terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So I have one term, two terms, three terms, four terms, five terms. There are five terms in this expression. How many of those five terms are like terms? Which ones could I combine together? They are like terms. I have an M. Are there any other m's to the 1 power? I see there's another m to the 1 power. I see m squared, m to the second power. I, that is not a like term with m to the 1 power. Remember, they have to have exactly the same variable and exponent. And I see here that 4m and negative 5m, those are like terms. Do we have any other terms that we can combine together? I have an n term, but I don't have any more n's. I have negative 7, but I don't have any other numbers I could combine with that. And there are no other m squared terms. So these are the only like terms that I could simplify. Coefficients, the numbers in front of the variable. 4m has a coefficient of 4. 
m, negative 5m, has a coefficient of negative 5. n has a coefficient of, make sure you put those numbers in there when you need them, it has a coefficient of 1. Negative 7 does not have a coefficient. It is a constant. m squared has a coefficient of 1. Do we have any constants? And that would be negative 7. Keep your signs in front of your terms at all times. We've talked about this. What is the exponent of the fifth term? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The exponent would be 2. What is the exponent of the first term? The exponent of m would be a 1. Two more examples, and then you can start your homework. We need to simplify algebraic expressions. When an algebraic expression has no like terms and no parentheses, we say that it's in simplest form. We don't have any parentheses. Do we have any like terms? I see 6x, and I see negative x. What is the coefficient of negative x? Put that one in there. So I have 6x minus 1x. That would be 5x. And then I have some constants. Negative 5, positive 7. Negative 5 plus 7, or 7 minus 5, would be a positive 2. When you're simplifying your algebraic expressions, Make sure that you are putting the variables first and the constant at the end. You also have to make sure if you have more than one variable, if I had an X term and a Y term, I need to go alphabetical order. And then my constant is at the end. Here is my final answer. I cannot add 5X plus 2. One more example. We have to simplify this because we have parentheses, and I see I have two t terms. We're going to start with getting rid of the parentheses first. So I'm not doing anything with the 5t yet. I'm going to bring it down, and now I'm going to do the distributive property. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Negative 7 times negative 4 is a positive 28t. Gotten rid of the parentheses, and now I need to see if I have any like terms that I can combine. I see 5t and a positive 28t. Notice how I always put my sign inside the box or the circle. I keep my sign with the term. 5t plus 28t is going to be 33t, and then I still have a minus 14. The constant goes at the end. I cannot combine and add and subtract variables with constants. Final answer, 33t minus 14.